Hello and welcome to this amazing session that I'm so excited and passionate to talk to you about, which is all about building and retaining consistent income. I love talking this. It's one of my favorite topics and I cover this a lot inside my Sustainable Sales Mastermind. It's a three, uh, three, no, it's not. It's a six month mastermind all around sales, building and retaining consistent sales, but making sure that you do it in a way with a business that's sustainable, which is why it's called Sustainable Sales, the mastermind. But right now I want to get into building and retaining consistent income in a way that can help you. So I want to talk about four different things. I want to talk about what consistent income looks like, how to retain it, my thoughts on passive income as part of consistent income are my top tips for retaining income as well so first of all what consistent income actually looks like because I, I believe there's kind of a disillusion of how that can come about and what it actually looks like so what is income obviously income is money that's coming into the business but in order to make consistent income it's not just about the money that comes in it's about meeting your baseline needs your minimum needs to run the business and then exceeding that enough to make a profit so that is what for me that means consistent income beyond the baseline to retain a consistent profit which is I'm, I'm sure what we all want to work towards, but we want to do it in a way that means we have a nice balance and we're not overworking, we're not overwhelmed, we're not burning out. So it's about how you construct your business in a way that works with that. And so um, that's what that looks like for me. Consistent income, in my, and it's different for everybody, but in my ideal world, and I know other people's will be very different because there's loads of coaches, mentors selling this lifestyle work one hour a week kind of lifestyle. And I think there's a disillusion between what actually goes into your business. And I'm not saying further down the line, it's not possible. But for me right now in where I'm at in my business, that is definitely not possible. Nor would I only want to work one hour a week because I'd want people to get me when they're buying into me. And so consistent income for me looks like balance between the freedom of time but also the financial freedom as well, where you've got enough money coming in to cover your business essentials, to run the business, any planned investments, but also make a profit from that as well. So at this moment in time, I am making consistent income and I'm loving it. I'm profiting. I have invested recently and quite heavily into a team to help and support me manage my business, which I love and enjoy having behind me. Um, but I need to make sure I make that baseline, obviously, before um, investing and to continue those investments. So consistent income looks like that. It looks like covering your minim minimums, your baseline. It looks like bringing in enough money to make profits, you break it even. And then obviously when you do that, um, we've got tax to pay and things like that. So we want to have that covered tax, national insurance. When you reach the threshold, there's VAT. Um, so that consistent income covers it all. And that's what my ideal consistent income looks like it covers everything so how do we retain that how exactly do we retain this and that's the important question because i find this is the thing that most people find challenging and i have in the past and i'll tell you my biggest realization and i think the belief the belief i have is that the one key thing that's made a difference in retaining my income is well two things clarity and focus because I guess I didn't have the confidence myself in my business to understand who I am, what I'm delivering, how I can help people. But actually, in what I've done, when I've got more clear, it's just flawed. So clear it clarity makes a lot of difference in how you you energetically bring more money into your business so that you can actually realign and align with what you do. But then when it comes to retaining that, to keeping the money within the business that you are making, it does require focus because I think so many times as entrepreneurs, we have creative brains and we get loads of ideas pop, 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 popping off like popcorn, like popcorn brain is what some of us call it. And we just go and put it out there without thought, without planning. When actually we just need to niche down, we need to focus. And niche down does not mean you only work with one particular ideal client. You only talk about one thing. Absolutely not. I'm the queen of business organization and I cover many things. I talk about loads of different things. In my message, I talk about neurodiversity because I am in a family that includes neurodiversity. I talk about mental health. I talk about being a mum. 
And those are not the things that I sell, but they are part of my brand, my message and my story. And that is okay. So I don't only just talk about business organisation. I don't just talk about one thing. So it's important to recognise that, but it's about focusing on what you do and harnessing that power. So obviously mine is business organisation and leading with that because it felt good was actually one way I did retain because all of a sudden my product suite became very clear in how I could what I could sell to people and how I could help people. And because I was very clear on that, I started retaining clients based on that. It also helped me design offers that people could buy into that meant I retained clients for longer, such as a six-month program and a 12-month program, while still having lower options to work with me, like classes and um, you know, free stuff, free resources and things like that, and smaller group programs. Um, again. Group programs is a great way to retain consistent income as well because we can't do everything on one-to-one and I highly would recommend creating some multiple income streams and when it comes to retaining them, the best way to retain consistent income is knowing one when one service ends and how you can continue the momentum to bring out more cash into the business, more sales into the business and that's the biggest thing that's made a difference for me when it comes to retaining money. So my thoughts on passive income, because passive income, I do believe, exists. I know there's a myth that it doesn't exist, but I do believe it's not fully passive. Passive income is when you create something and you there, you create it once and you make money off of it. But that's not the truth. There still needs to be some way in that people see the thing that you're offering. So for me, that looks like bump offers and upsells or on my website or it exists on my Etsy shop. It exists in my Facebook group. I might mention it on my Instagram. But the key thing here is I've not just created it and then it exists. It exists in different places. I've breadcrumbed it across my whole business in everything that I do so that it can be picked up and found so that I've created it once and then it can be found and it can be sold. And that can work. However, when you create something to make a passive income, it does take a lot of work in the beginning. So I created a planner last year. I've done planners for the last two years. But this time, it's actually made me a passive income. Not much, but it's made me a passive income, which is nice. It took a lot of work last year to do that. I had to sit and do the design. I planned it. Um, I put it together. I did all of that stuff. And so with that, um, yeah, with all that, a lot there was a lot of work involved in that. But then now it just exists and it sells and it sells and it sells. And I love that. So we can create it, but it does take a lot of initial work in terms of the design, the creation and the marketing element in the beginning. So it's not about just coming up with the idea of something that you can sell and then just putting it out there and expecting it to sell. There is so much more to it than that. That's my thoughts on passive income is that it does exist but we just need to make sure that we create its existence in a way that works to get it seen and so that there's awareness of it. Okay, so the best juicy goody one of this is my top tips for retaining income. So my top tips are to have a multi-level product suite, service suite, whatever you want to call it. So make sure that all of your services that exist have a different price point for the different levels that your client is at and that they flow together. So I mentioned in this session that I run a mastermind that focuses all around sales. Now, some of my ideal clients might not be ready for that one, that level of commitment, that level of investment, that time commitment, or be even be in the place to be served at that level. And so what I have created it's a program for them that works perfectly before the mastermind to help them build business foundations. And that is over 12 months. But again, that might not be the ideal thing. So we might want to go even a step before that. And actually, I'm in the process of designing something that fits a whole other place that my ideal client is on her journey. So it's thinking about how you can meet your ideal client where they're at and serve that level. And the best way, the best tip I can give to figure this out is do the research, ask the questions, look for the gap, compare, plan, and put it out there. And don't give up on your idea either. So that's one of my top tips. My second top tip, so the first one, um, make sure you have multi, 
a multi-level service suite, different services, different price points that all flow together. My second top tip for retaining income is to create something that people consume that can bring you in a recurring income on a monthly basis. So I've done that with my mastermind. It's a six-month master mastermind, and you can choose a payment plan from three months or painful um, up to 12 months. So I know when I sell one place, that can bring me in money for many, many months. And it's the same with my other group programs. So having different programs, different price points that have recurring um, payment plans can be really beneficial to ensuring that you have money coming in every month. And the best way to do that is use that service suite, sell different ones at different points so that they're all running alongside each other. And when I realised this, when I cottoned on to this, it was like a, a penny drop moment where I could see how this could build and scale my business because... I had my mastermind existing, my one-to-one -one clients existing who were paying me month on month. I then launched my group program. Again, clients paying me month on month. That sold out. So that really bumped up my income. And then it was like, okay, what am I going to do next that's going to scale my business? So it's about bringing that next income stream to scale it. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm scaling, scaling, scaling. And I love it. But also another top tip of mine is when you do do this and it does happen very fast, if it does, it happened fast for the last six months to me. Um, my mastermind sold really well and then I launched my group program, it sold out. And then I got some one-to-one -one clients in, which is amazing. I then brought in more mastermind clients. So I'm in a position now where I'm slowing down because there has been so much growth that I want to slow down to scale it up in a couple of months' time as I then introduce my next income stream. Because sometimes if we go all in to new projects every single month, it can happen so, so fast that we're actually not keeping up the momentum and you can burn out. So it really is important to be organised as you do build up and stack your income. So there's other ways to do it other than just offering group programmes and one-to-one. -one. You can have that passive income that I talked about so that, at the same time as you're selling a big program, there is ways for people to buy from you that's at a lower price point. And I do this with things like bundles and masterclasses and my planners and soon to be my business book that I'm launching at the end of the year. So I have those lower ticket offers as well that exist and create an ecosystem where people can come across them on a regular basis. So I have strategies for all of that. And that, I think, is the biggest thing that you need to do is have a multi-level strategy to sell the multiple things in your service suite so that you can build and create and retain a consistent income, but then also stack it over time and scale it as well. So I hope these tips have been very useful for you and you can then take them away and go plan things within your business that is going to help you retain more consistent income on a regular basis as always do reach out let me know your thoughts on the podcast i would really appreciate it if you could rate and follow for more episodes coming up and also send any questions my way of any topics that you would like me to cover on the podcast because i'm always open to suggestions i have some amazing guests lined up for you though so do make sure that you follow subscribe, like, review, all of the things so that I can keep bringing this amazing content for you. I'll see you in the next episode.